I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aries, the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We got the Eight of Wands and it's with the Fool card. Now the Eight of Wands can be about some communication. So it's with the Fool card. Now the Fool card is about ready to take a leap of faith. You could be ready for a new beginning or a fresh new start. And you're like so ready. You're like ready for it to happen now. Yeah, you're just ready to take a leap of faith and jump right on into some fresh new start, some new beginning. Now, for some of you Aries, you're dealing with the with your same sign, an Aries or a Leo. And for some of you, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Yeah, but I'm getting that this person could want could have wanted to talk to you. And the communication could have been back and forth. But you were just ready for a new day. You're ready to take a leap of faith towards something else. If it wasn't another person, it could have been just a new lease on life. But some communications. Your person wanted to talk. For some of you, your person could have been long distance. Because I'm just looking at the way this wand is. It's kind of shooting up. In the air, there's one wand that's going forward. So your person could have been coming toward you, flying in to to communicate. There was discussion that needed to be happened. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the world card, and it's with the hermit. So the hermit is about going into deep thought, wanting time alone, maybe to meditate, contemplate, get some inner clarity. You feel, you could be feeling like you're going to be deep in your thoughts coming up. Yeah, for some of you Aries, you could be feeling like you're ready to close a chapter with this person. The world card is about completion, getting closure, ending a chapter. Yeah, this could be what you come up with after you come out of your hermit stage. Yeah, you lo you're looking for inner clarity. Spending time alone. Trying to figure out what to do. Because like I said, for most of you, you're just ready to go towards a new beginning, a new day. But your person, they, they could be coming towards you, wanting, still wanting to talk. But you're ready for closure. For most of you, you're ready to close the book on this chapter. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Six of Wands ends with the Prince, Princess of Wands. Now, Six of Wands, it's about it's all about victory, success, recognition. So this is telling me that your person that they want recognition from you. They want to be victorious with you. They feel that like there's a lot of... They have a deep connection with you. Like there's a lot of chemistry that they feel between the two of you. Yeah, it's all about recognition. You could be the type that like attention. And they could be the type that likes giving it to you. With the Six of Wands... You get this type of energy where the two of you feed off of each other. So, they feel a strong bond to you, Aries. Now, with this Princess of Wands, you may be thinking that this person is not quite on your maturity level. For some of you, your person could be younger than you, or you could be younger than them. And you just feel like the maturity level is not there with this Princess of Wands. But there's passion. There could be a lot of passion in this connection. Yeah, 
with these wands here. That's a lot of wands. Six of wands and the princess of wands. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Well, we got the king of cups. And it's with the seven of swords. So the king of cups is all about love, kindness, compassion. There is an element of pure and true love in your life. When you get the King of Cups, no matter what your situation is. So, you do have love for this person, Aries. You do have emotions for them. But I'm just getting you're just ready to close out the chapter with this person. You could be ready to go in for closure. But they're wanting to talk. They still want rec recognition from you. They still want victory with you. And I'm getting for a lot of you, the passion is pretty strong. It is not for, if it's not coming from you, it could be coming from your person. Um, sometimes you could feel like this person is stalking you because you got the seven of swords here for the outcome. You could feel like they're stalking you, watching you. For some of you, you might feel like this person plays mind games. Or they're manipulative. Or you could feel like they use strategy or tactics. Yeah, some, something that you feel is, is immature. But they do want recognition with you. And yes, Aquarius, you still have emotions for this person. The King of Cups is here. But you, for a lot of you, you're ready to just go in for the close. Closure. Close out a chapter with this person. That, that's how a lot of you are feeling. Yeah. You feel like they're just not quite on your maturity level. And some of you feel like this person, they just play too many games. So that is the reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading... Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? Also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Aries, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care, I hope you come back and join me for the next Aries reading, which will be in about another four or five days, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched, yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them, or they could be you, and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker or a situation, so just take the reading for however it resonates, once again, because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough, thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a great day, I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.